My name is Andrea Burgart. I'm an artist based in New York. I've been living and working here for 10 years, and I grew up um, outside of Boston, Massachusetts. Providence College Galleries saw my work and thought it would be a great fit. So I think this project fits me really well because I grew up making art and also playing sports, and I identified as an artist and an athlete, and I love basketball. Um, it's exciting for me to bring my artwork to a basketball court and sort of combine my art and basketball into a visceral experience. And the Providence College community is known to love both. This will be the largest painting that I've made so far, so I'm really excited about it. It's also significant because it's the 50th anniversary of the first class of women students at Providence College. And of course, I was so excited to participate because painting a basketball court has always been a dream of mine. I also want to show that women can be active participants and leaders in the art and the sports world. So I make paintings and drawings. I also make wearable um, art and clothing. I do a lot of solar printing where I print uh, with UV sensitive dyes on fabric and textiles. And I also do designing. So one project uh, the last couple of years is I've designed handbags out of basketballs and it's been a really fun extension out of my studio practice and had a lot of fun and excitement with it. I also love bringing art into unexpected places. So this is an opportunity for me to reach an audience of people who normally wouldn't go to an art gallery or a museum and have an art experience on their local basketball court. I think the project just is really exciting and it's gonna be a lot of fun to work in Providence. In addition to my home court, Providence College students will have the opportunity to get involved. I wanna know what inspires them about the city of Providence and the diverse communities that make it a special place. It's important that the finished project is relatable to the community that it serves. We're going to need a lot of help with this project from getting the word out to on the ground research, to painting and to celebrating. I also want people to feel like this space is for them and that their voice matters. It is my hope that the students will come away with a new understanding of how creativity, arts, and sports can come together in a new way and make lives a little better and a lot more fun.